Mock P6, Health. Health Appraisal. Health Appraisal Procedure is the procedure to determine the health status of the pupil. It should be done regularly for early detection of health problems of a person. Health Appraisal Procedures Height and weight measurement is important when monitoring an infant or child's health. It is used to calculate your body mass index or BMI, a measure of healthy versus unhealthy weight. They are also important when tracking a child's growth. Helps track and monitor the health and growth of a child. This is usually done in school at the beginning and towards the end of the school year. The baseline results serve as the basis to select children to be included in the school feeding program. The end line result will show if there are improvement in the health status of the children. Breast self-examination should be done once a month to familiarize yourself with how your breasts normally feel and to detect the breast problems or abnormalities that may occur. Breast self-examination helps doctor check that everything is normal. Doctors don't usually start doing breast exams until a girl is in her 20s. During breast exam, a doctor or nurse practitioner will feel a woman's breast to check any lumps and bumps and see if there are changes. Six steps to performing a breast self-examination. 1. Take a good look at your breast in the mirror and start by looking for changes in the shape, size, or position of your nipples. 2. After you have checked your nipples, raise your arms in the air, you are going to look for any distortion of your breasts such as dimpling of the skin. 
is best to lie flat when examining your breasts either on your bed or sofa or even in the bath. This allows your breast tissue to spread out and makes examination much easier. 4. Then using firm pressure with flat fingers on your right hand, press your breast tissue against the underlying chest wall and use your flat fingers press around each quarter of your left breast. Once you have done this, use your fingertips to press around your nipple. If you feel any lump or thickened area, then use both of your hands to try and identify if there is a lump present. 5. Repeat step 4 but on your right breast and using your left hand. Finally, examine your left underarm area with your right hand, starting as high as possible in your armpit and running your fingers downwards looking for any lumps. Repeat this process on your right underarm using your left hand. 3. Hearing Test a hearing or audiometric test is part of an ear exam that tests how well a person is able to hear. It is done by measuring how well sound can reach the brain. It should be done regularly to find out if there are hearing problems that need treatment. 4. Vision screening is used to detect if children has visual impairment. Vision screening should be done once a year or as needed to avoid serious eye problems that may lead to loss of sight if not treated early. is an efficient and cost-effective method to identify children with visual impairment or eye conditions that are likely to lead to vision loss so that a referral can be made to an appropriate eye care professional for further evaluations and treatment. Five, scoliosis test. This is a simple screening test that can detect potential problems. If you notice any unevenness, you should contact your doctor for an exam. Scoliometer can help determine the severity of the curve. Scoliosis is usually confirmed by taking x-ray of the entire spine looking from front to back. Health examination is important to prevent illnesses and to monitor person's health status. Health examination includes all laboratory tests like blood test, urine test, x-ray, and stool examination. Seven, dental or oral examination is done to check the condition of your teeth and gums. This should be done at least once a year to avoid serious dental health problems. Components of health appraisal. One, health history. Two, family history. Three, current health status. Evaluation. 